Okay, number two, when thinking about the possibilities for solar gain in passive and active systems, which of the following would be terms that you would be considering? Choose three. So a, a certain percentage, not a huge percentage, but a certain percentage of the questions will be these uh, choose all that apply questions, uh, CATA questions, I think call them. Uh, and they're usually pretty easy with maybe one complicated one. Uh, so let's just sort of run through what our possible answers are here. Uh, so we're talking about solar gain in passive and active systems. Uh, we're thinking about the possibilities. So we're trying to understand uh, what the, what, you know, is this a possible thing? Where is the sun going to be? Will we have enough sun? Uh, and so our uh, terms here are orientation, scope, azimuth, solar angle. <coughs> excuse me, uh, node, feasibility gate, mechanics lean. <clears throat> Sorry. Don't worry, Mike is not choking right now. Yeah, I'm just getting He's a little okay. drink. Uh, all right, so we're talking about solar, uh, therefore we are talking about the kind of movement through the sky. Uh, you were talking about how much sun is going to be uh, hitting the site. Is it worth putting in uh, a uh, trom wall? Is it worth putting in a greenhouse uh, in a specific site? And the way that we would figure that out is by understanding where the shadows are, understanding how much sunlight is going to be coming in. And the three terms that are directly related to uh, solar movement are going to be orientation, azimuth, and solar angle. Uh, so azimuth is, if you can imagine, we have a, our site is, uh, so there's our little building, there's our site, uh, and we have, say, north up here, uh, and you know that the sun is rising in the east and setting in the west, uh, so the, if you sort of did it in plan form, let's say the sun was rising there, setting there. Uh, and it's, let's say, 11 in the morning, something like that. So, all right, we're right there. That is the azimuth. So it's the angle off of the cardinal direction. Typically, it's the angle off of south, which is one of the cardinal directions. Uh, but it doesn't have to be. It could be off of north. It could be off of east or west. Um, it always seems weird to me that they don't just say it's the angle off of south. Uh, but it's the angle in plan off of a cardinal direction in order to help you understand the sort of location of where the sun is. The solar angle, if we imagine this is now up in the sky, so let's say that that's where the sun is, we now know where the azimuth is, and that would be the solar angle. So that's telling us how high off of the horizon uh, the sun is. So those two terms are the way that we locate something in space. Uh, so in the summer, like this is showing, and how do we know this is summer? Is because it started north of uh, due east and sets uh, north of due west. So it's got to be a summertime, in the United States at least. Uh, that in that high summer angle, uh, we can, with those two numbers, the azimuth and the solar angle, we can figure out where the sun is at any point during the day. As you get into the winter, it'll be a lower solar angle. Uh, as you get uh, into the winter, it'll also uh, be a, a diminished amount of space on the, that azimuth run there, because we'll start uh, south of due east and we'll end south of due west. Um, so hopefully that all makes sense. Those are the three terms. Uh, scope clearly would be a useful thing to know about. That just means the, the amount of work. Uh, node is about a totally different uh, concept. Feasibility gate uh, is one of my favorites uh, on this particular one because I just made that up and I thought it sounded good. Uh, mechanics lean is about uh, ownership of a project and whether the project actually, uh, whether the, you're being paid for the work and cl laying claim for pay for the work. So that's a totally different thing. So the ones here that are about um, uh, solar angle and all of that are orientation, azimuth, and solar angle. Orientation is just that sort of general description of what we just went through. 
So in North America, uh, if you have a lot of windows on the south side in order to get uh, a lot of uh, sunlight in, uh, that would be a question of orientation. You're orienting the fenestration to the uh, regular sun path.